Pliskin. Pliskin. Pliskin, what are you doing? Playing with myself. I'm going in. And uh, the key thing really was the the glider, and uh, that was made in three different scales. Uh, there was a um, maybe a half scale, third scale model that was done for the glider actually landing on the rooftop in um, uh, on the top of the World Trade Center. Uh, then we had about a two-foot model that was used for most of the motion control shots, uh, which is uh, the shots were, the majority of the shots where it's coming in above Manhattan, where it's turning, uh, coming in down low uh, and heading toward the uh, World Trade Center. And then we had a very, uh, a very small model, and I'll describe it, it was about this big, <laughs> about that big, a couple of, uh, maybe four or five inches long. Uh, that was done for a particular shot where the glider is uh, just sitting on top of the World Trade Center and we have a, a direct God point of view looking directly down on it. I wasn't too crazy about the pinwheel, pinwheeling shot of the glider falling off the roof. I, I thought there were more dramatic uh, ways of showing that tumbling. As a matter of fact, I really wanted to see it from a reverse angle looking down the building and seeing it head toward the street. And, smashing. My original thought was to go on top of the studio where we were and drop the model into the into the addressed parking lot there where we addressed the parking lot to f uh, ground with some model cars and just drop the glider that way and uh, I don't think there were a lot of people who wanted it to get wrecked so um, so we didn't do that.